Hello Acadiana, I'm Iman Boyd. It's Saturday, March 5th, 2022, and here's a look at your news making headlines. In Lafayette, residents got a chance to do some spring cleaning today. LCG hosted a debris drop off day for residents to get rid of some things that would not normally be picked up on a regular route. Items were dropped off at Brown Park and the Robichaux Center from 9 from 8 a.m. to noon. Staying in Lafayette, volunteers planted trees at Moore Park today. Volunteers learned techniques while planting over 50 trees around the pond during the event. Organizers say adding more trees in the park can help produce a better environment. In Youngsville and Broussard, Parish Proud hosted their annual cleanup event. Volunteers were provided with cleaning supplies and breakfast before hitting the streets and cleaning the community. The cleanup continued from 830 until 11. And weather-wise, mild and muggy tonight as we see our overnight lows dropping down into the middle and upper 60s. Some patchy fog possible in spots first thing in the morning. Otherwise, we'll call it a mixture of sun and clouds throughout our Sunday. It's going to be a warm day as temperatures push the upper 70s to lower 80s by the afternoon. Winds will stay breezy out of the south at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Those gusts at times even higher than that. And we're going to hold upper 60s heading into Monday morning out ahead of our next cold front. That's going to start advancing into the area into Monday afternoon. But Monday still warm. I think we're pushing the upper 70s to lower 80s. Few scattered showers and isolated storms out there on Monday afternoon as that front pushes through, but better rain coverage is actually going to be setting up a little bit farther off to our north and then as that front clears the area, we will be turning a little bit cooler into Tuesday and Wednesday. So here's the 10 day forecast again warm over the next couple of days. Rain chances tomorrow only at around 20% will increase it to 40 to 50% on Monday and then that front's going to kind of get caught up across the area Tuesday and Wednesday. So we'll keep rain chances slightly elevated during that time period. Uh, but again, a little bit cooler Tuesday, Wednesday will be in the 60s before starting to warm up a bit by the end of next week ahead of yet another cold front and that looks to send in another round of some chillier air as we head into the following weekend. Well, that's going to do it for this news and weather update for now for future updates. Keep it tuned to TV3.